this overlook is probably my favorite in the whole park and you'll see why. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Look where I am. I'm in the van. Welcome to Travel Life, Mama. I am finally in the van with my two little, we got Georgie on his first longer camping trip, a little longer than an hour. Of course, we have the Charles and George. Good morning, boys. So I am in the van this weekend. I made a quick trip from my house to Traverse City, Michigan. You guys have seen Traverse City before on my channel. Some little bit of changes in the van. I'll give you a quick look. I'm trying out a new setup. I'll show you guys more of that later on in the video, but for now, I'm going to get up, get changed, take these dogs for their morning walk, and then we're heading to Sleeping Bear National Park, and we're gonna do some hiking today. Buddy. We're on our first trail of the day. We are in Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore about half hour outside of Traverse City. We are on the Pumpkin Point Trail right now uh, to start off the morning. It's a beautiful morning here in September in Michigan and we're gonna go check out some sand dunes. We're gonna go check out the lake. So while I'm walking I guess I'll explain why I changed the setup in the van. So I think last time I showed you guys a full setup in the van, not just like a quick trip where I take the cots, is I had my little bed platform that I put across the third row in the van so that I could utilize the cup holders to fully stretch out in bed. But the only problem with that is, one, I couldn't sit up in bed because the bed was so tall and it needed to be so tall so that I could utilize the cup holders. It had to be that height so I couldn't make it shorter and I couldn't fully sit up in bed, which I didn't like. And having to utilize the third row seat as the bed really cut off a lot of the van and usable space. So I decided that I was going to move my bed directly behind driver and passenger seat at the front, which is working because it is allowing me to use the door sills to be able to fully stretch out, which actually gives me more room than using the cup holders at the on the third row bench seat. So I'm able to stretch out more comfortably. It gives me a ton more space and it's nice for the dogs. They can sit on the bed and kind of look out the front window when we're driving. So once we're done hiking and exploring Sleeping Bear Dunes, I'll show you what it looks like. So this hike was supposed to be an easy climb, or it's, it's supposed to be an easy hike. It's an easy hike if you don't mind going on a straight up incline for the majority of the hike. Definitely not an accessible trail. So we made it to the top. Sorry, it's really windy here. Remember, these are natural dunes, so they can give way. So be very careful when you're going towards the edge. I'm gonna keep a close eye on these guys. But apparently this is one of the best views in Sleeping Bear. And I think it's right. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera down there, but that blue is just absolutely beautiful. It looks like a Caribbean blue water. So this is Lake Michigan for anybody who doesn't know the Traverse City area. We are on the Great Lake, Lake Michigan. Yeah, look at that view. second location sleeping bear dunes national shoreline i wanted to check out the crystal river see the fish look how big they are just swimming through the water the water is so clear and clean that's awesome i wanted to see it because i sat on somebody's tiktok 
and it just looked really pretty so I wanted to come check it out. I parked at this the mill it looks like it's like a bakery place where you can get like sandwiches and drinks and stuff so I'm gonna stop there and get a drink since I parked in the parking lot then I have to buy something because uh, I don't want to just park in their parking lot and not purchase anything uh, so I got Georgie and Charles out here for a quick walk there's this like bridge uh, there's a bridge here and it has like a pedestrian walkway and then here's the river really clear and pretty see if we can see the fish on the other side lots of people fishing the river obviously because you saw how many fish were in here looks like a very pretty fishing spot you can see right to the bottom here okay so i went into the mill i made my purchase i got a turkey sandwich on white 15 dollars. it's very bougie in there it's really cute, but not usually my type of scene, but hopefully the sandwich is good. Uh, they had hand pies, which I would have been interested in, but none of them, none of the fillings they had uh, interested me. But I made my purchase. Now we're off to our next stop in Sleeping Bear. All right, we're at our next destination, but first I decided I'm going to have some breakfast. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. I'm gonna have yogurt and a banana, like always, and some milk. And then we're gonna go check out the Coast Guard station before we head over to uh, the beach. So change of plans, don't know if you guys can see that sign, no pets allowed. So where no pets allowed, I don't go. So, well, this is the Coast Guard house. We're right here, here. I think we're going to head here and then here and then here, and then we're gonna head back to Trevor C. So when you pay your permit fee, you get this map of everything in the area. Permit fee was $25, but it's for the week, which is nice. So we were already here at 12 at Pyramid Point. We got our permit at DH Day Campground. We passed the historic village. Now we're at the Maritime Museum. So next we'll be heading to, again, number nine. Sleeping Bear Point. There's something in there called Ghost Forest. Not sure what that is. We're kind of going backwards. We're going the opposite way that most people go when they come to Sleeping Bear. I would like to do this Pierce Stocking Scenic Drive. But for now, let's head to number nine, Sleeping Bear Point. Okay, change of plans again. Sleeping Bear Dune Trail is 2.8 miles. It doesn't seem too bad. Um, it looks like it's sand. Charles can't do 2.8 miles in the sun in the sand. So I'm going to have to find a trail that's more Charles friendly. Um, so let's see if we can find where the easy trail. So this is the dune climb in Sleeping Bear. I'm not going to do the climb. I actually did this while my kids did it when they were younger. I got halfway up, but you can see. I just wanted to drive through and show you guys what the climb looks like. Just one moment while we go through the permit station here. Anyways, so this is what the doom climb looks like. As you can see, there are people up there doing the climb. It's uh, it's a tough climb. I mean, you're climbing in loose sand. I mean, it's not the biggest dune in the park that you can climb, but it's still a climb. Actually, uh, no, I'm not going to do that to Charles. I was going to say, maybe I will climb it, but I'm not going to do that to Charles. Georgie, fine. Charles, probably not. Uh, it's a very popular place here in Sleeping Bear. You have a view of the lake once you get to the top. But we're gonna go do the scenic drive. That's a little more Charles friendly. So we're at the dune overlook on the scenic drive. Picnic Mountain, I believe you can go down that trail and that's where you can have your lunch. It's very windy up here. This overlook, this overlook is probably my favorite in the whole park and you'll see why. 
You can see again, there's another view of Picnic, Picnic Mountain. They got little scatterings of picnic tables here. They even have a grill, so you can grill up your lunch. Garbages. I'm kind of waiting for Georgie to calm down because Georgie is a very vocal dog, and when he's excited, he barks. And right now, he's excited. Right, George? Georgie? <laughs> We'll try this again. If he keeps on barking, I might have to put him back in the van and Charles and I will go check things out. Oh, it looks like you can pay your fee, your park fee here. Yeah, it looks like you pay your fee here. That's convenient. This kind of reminds me of being in Cavendish on uh, Prince Edward Island with all the dunes in the water, except instead of the Atlantic Ocean, it's Lake Michigan. Look at that little farmhouse down there. So you guys can see, there's the parking lot that I drove you guys through for the dune climb. This is the top of the dunes. So if you don't want to do the dune climb, just take the scenic drive and you'll get to the top of the dunes. Georgie and Charles want to go dig in that sand. Pretty amazing view. Okay, let's hop in the van and see what else is on this scenic drive. So this is the Cottonwood stop. I think you can actually, I think this is like the Cottonwood trail. Yeah. We're not gonna take the trail, we're just gonna take a quick glimpse. It's a little bit of a different perspective of the dunes. You never see the change, different colors of blue in the water over there. Let's see if you guys can see it. Okay, that's Cottonwood Trail. Head back to the van. So this is, I guess, Lake Michigan Trail. If you've seen people's TikToks about people going down there and being warned, don't go down there if you can't climb back up because if you get stuck, there's like a huge fee. This is where you, oh, most of those TikToks come from. This is the overlook. In a bit, we'll go over to that uh, wood instructor over there. So that was a good tour around Sleeping Bear National Park. I always love going there. It's absolutely beautiful. So if you're ever in the Traverse City area, make sure you check out the National Lakeshore. So I'm back at the campground now, and I'll show you guys my idea for my new setup, which I really, really like, and I think I'm going to make permanent. So I just need to build pretty much a kit to have this more set up and not so basic so this is what i got so this is my plan for my bed is i plan on using the space between the doors to use as my bed which is great because i can stretch all the way out and there is enough room on the side over here to get in and out of the van which is great i don't have a platform or anything i'm just using my outdoor cushions from my patio and my foam mattress that I usually use as my bed. And then I'm using a couple of banks of my plastic drawers that I always have. I got clothes in the purple one and then just like other random things in the other one. I haven't had time to organize anything. I do have some kitchen stuff in that plastic tote. I still have access to the fridge even with that on it. But I don't know, I think I like this setup. It gives me tons of space this way. It was lots of space for the dogs to move around. Speaking of dogs, good morning, Georgie. Good morning. <laughs> but yeah, I got my overhead light there. I think this is a good setup. I got my Jackery there. My Jackery is running my fridge and my CPAP. I am hooked up to my parents' trailer 
here, you can see. But so the way that I do my power is I constantly have everything plugged into my Jackery. And then when I hook my Jackery into the shore power to keep that charged. And then when I'm traveling, I just hook my Jackery to the van and let it charge that way. That's why I don't, I don't have to keep on plugging in and unplugging everything in. And I don't have to worry about the things not having power because they're always just running off of my Jackery. And then I use the van and the shore power to top up the Jackery. So I find it easy to do that. Look, we got the dogs here. Charles? Charles? There's Charles. Good morning. And George. We just went for our morning walk. Yeah, I think this is going to become the permanent setup. I have a long trip coming up in... See, I also like that I could sit at the back and kind of use this as a seat. Hi, babies. Yeah, so I have a long trip coming up in February. The whole family is heading down to New Orleans for Mardi Gras. So I will be driving from Northern Ontario to Louisiana for that. So I'm gonna take a few days, uh, take my time heading down to New Orleans. And I'm gonna to try to get in some camping trips between now and November when we go on our next cruise, we're heading out of, we're heading on a carnival cruise at the end of November out of Cocoa Beach on the Carnival Vista, which will be fun because I haven't been on a Vista class ship yet. So I'm excited to show you guys the build that I have set up. I have plans to build a bed platform that's slightly higher, but I can have shelves underneath for my clothing. And then I would like to, and then I would like to build shelves that go from the bottom all the way to the top and follow the curvature of this, the cup holder sills here to have for drawers. I want to build a platform for the fridge to sit on that has a pull out drawer that can come out all the way here just to have a drawer that comes all the way out when I'm cooking outside. And that still leaves all this space. So those are my ideas. I just have to find somebody to build them. <laughs> I'll try to build some of it myself, but well, probably it'll be Austin and my husband. Anyways, so that's the video for this week. I am heading to Costco and then we are heading home. So hopefully I'll see you guys next at a new Michigan State Park. See you guys. Bye.